Let me very, very quickly show you how uh, stability and uh, regularization can be considered in the L2 norm for the filter back projection. And yeah, for simplicity, we assume that uh, the support of F is in the unit circle and that F is in S. And I'm writing N here, but of course we are thinking about N equals two. Okay, so uh, we are considering noise in the Euclidean norm and our regularization as before is uh, the uh, implementation of V omega convolution with F and V omega is the Ramlach filter. Okay, uh, so uh, we start by writing F as F omega plus F omega star. F omega is the band limited version of F. That is, it's the inverse Fourier transform of the frequencies in F below omega with norm uh, smaller than omega and again n is equal to 2. Okay, that's what we call the omega band limited version of F. Now F is F omega is omega band limited and of F omega star is, uh, let's say, the rest. These are the frequencies beyond omega. Okay, um, and uh, due to Parseval, of course, we have that uh, the norm, the Euclidean norm of F omega star, which uh, um, is just uh, the norm of uh, the uh, frequencies of F beyond omega that goes to zero for omega to infinity because F is in L2. Okay, um, so uh, our task is always the same one. So we want to reconstruct F from data G equals to RF. Uh, however, that's not available. So we have J tilde is RF plus N. Uh, and uh, I plug in my definition of F over here. Now what we can compute is uh, v, con v omega convolution with uh, G tilde. And uh, for G tilde, I uh, plug in my expression over here. And so that's the approximation depending on omega, which I can actually compute. The error is then given by the difference between V omega, between what I just computed and the true solution F. And we measure that in the Euclidean norm squared. So uh, I plug in the definition. And uh, now keep in mind that F omega is band limited. And for band limited functions, V omega star F RF omega is the same as F omega. So uh, this one goes away and I'm left with uh, three error terms. The first one is this one over here, V omega star R F omega star Euclidean norm squared plus norm f omega star squared plus f omega uh, plus the amplification of the noise. Now let me go quickly through all these terms. So the last one, of course, that's the impact of the noise. And uh, as above, you can just insert the definitions. And um, I've, I've done the calculation a little bit um, below. It's always the same one, so I'm not including it here. Uh, the noise amplification goes with omega squared times the L norm of two squared. There, there's the two should, it should be omega squared times the Euclidean norm of N squared. Okay, now uh, what is this one over here? Well, um, our V omega, um, our approximation V omega convolution with G, G tilde is always omega band limited. So we will never be able to reach any frequencies in F that go beyond omega, right? Because this is omega band limited and F is not necessarily omega band limited. So uh, we definitely expect to see this model errors. These are the frequencies we cannot see. So this is absolutely okay that we see this. Um, now, what about the first term over here? And that's a little bit interesting. 
um, if you look into that one, then uh, F omega star contains the frequencies of F beyond omega. So uh, from Fourier slice, we have uh, that also in this case, RF omega star contains no frequencies below omega or frequencies in RF omega star are beyond omega. So uh, this is zero on, uh, on the, in the range of minus omega to omega. So the whole thing over here is zero. So uh, that sounds great. So this should be zero, in fact. This should not contribute to our error. However, it does. And um, that's because I cheated. Um, over here, I wrote down V omega convolution with G tilde. However, that's not really what I implemented. What I really implemented was the discretized, con uh, discretized convolution, uh, which was exact uh, when the function uh, f that we apply it to is, excuse me, <laughs> omega band limited. But this is not the case here, right? So uh, con this convolution over here will not be exactly what we uh, what we um, what we implemented. There we will have an additional error, and that additional error will be due to aliasing, and that's what we had in the sound example. Um, High frequencies are misinterpreted as low frequencies. So uh, we have an additional error here, an additional aliasing error. However, finally, this is smaller than omega squared times uh, f omega star squared, which goes to zero. So or at least for um, this one goes to zero over here. OK. Um, Finally, we have that uh, for omega to infinity, in the noiseless case, this goes to zero. And uh, also, the uh, so it's a regularization. And also, the, um, um, the amplification is bounded, which means that each of the single regularization operators for each fixed omega is continuous. So uh, we have that uh, V omega convolution with G is a regularization. And uh, the regularization parameter could be omega, but we standardize the regularization parameter to go to zero, not to infinity. So the regularization parameter in our case is one over omega. And that means that filter back projection is a classical regularization scheme, a projection regularization scheme with parameter, where the parameter is the bandwidth. 